Hello, this is Tolfman Trifle Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can have camera shake, realistic camera shake handheld in Blender. <clears throat> Excuse me, using this add-on called the Quake handheld add-on. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right because there are a lot of add-ons I've seen that are out there that have the same similar name like Quake and Shake. And I was kind of surprised by that, but this is called the Quake handheld camera add-on and I'll leave a link of it below this video so you can check it out yourselves but the same process for installing it is still the same just go to edits preferences install and just navigate to where you've installed it or downloaded it onto your system click on install that on and put a check mark in the box and it's activated and it's pretty straightforward we're going to use Susanna as our example I'm using Blender 2.81 for this. Now, I think it is for Blender 2.81 and above. I'm not too sure, but I'm assuming that it is. Uh, but let's get rid of this cube by pressing delete on our keyboard, then Shift A, Mesh, and then Monkey. I risk leave her the way she is. Let's reposition our camera to be in front of her, and you can do that by going to View, and then go to Align view and align at the camera to view. Click on that and now she's centered. Now the add-on is on the right hand side of your user interface and the tool panel. Here it is, it's just straightforward stuff. And there are two sections. There's the preset section, which is up here, and then the section that's down here is more, I guess, geared towards specific camera shakes on specific axes like X, Y, and Z. So let's left click on our camera. In order for you to activate the add-on, just click on your camera and it's activated. And so the presets are quite a bit. You've got uh, the default shake, handheld camera, tilt, so on and so forth. So there are a lot of them. And as I said before, this is just really straightforward. There's nothing really tricky about it. So let's just click on unstable camera and you're gonna click on uh, shake camera. And it automatically puts in these keyframes here. I don't know why my mouse is moving this slow. This is kind of weird. But let's uh, left click and drag on that line there to kind of show our timeline so you can see where the keyframe is. And when you press play, you can see that it shakes for that preset. Now you can uh, add, you can, I don't know if you can add, um, different presets down the line. I think I've tried that and it doesn't seem to work too well. But to change the presets, click on clear, and then go up to the uh, presets options again, and then click on another one, I view is another one, uh, shake camera, and play. So it, it, it does a good job of just being straightforward and, and pretty much bring pretty uh, easy to use. And let's clear that again. Now this part down here, as I mentioned earlier, it actually uh, shakes the camera on certain axes like this is for X, Y, Y, Z, X, Z, or all. You can have a low shake, medium shake, or high shake. And you can mix the channels. You can have it shake on the rotation or the location. Let's stick with the preset first, just leave it as it is. Let's click on shake camera and then press play. Now you can see it's on the rotation, it's a little subtle shake, so it's not as aggressive. Let's stop that, go back to the beginning, clear that off, go to medium, uh, shake camera again. This is gonna be a, a little bit more aggressive, press play. As you can see, it's really aggressive. Stop that, go back to the beginning, uh, clear that off, go to high, and shake camera and press play and that's really really shaking right now so it's uh it's a pretty good add-on and like i said before you can change it this is on the x and y axis you can change to the y and z or x and z or all the axes on rotation or location i don't think you can do both but either choose rotation or location and that's today's blender quick tip it was pretty fast and pretty straightforward and then once again thank you guys who have uh subscribe to the channel and, and hopefully this has been helpful for those of you who are watching this uh, add-on has been this tutorial but once again thank you guys who have been watching in the past and those of you who have subscribed in the past 
those of you who are subscribing now and those of you who are subscribing in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.